Femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery or FLAX was introduced 10 years ago with the hope of making cataract surgery safer and making the refractive result more predictable. Within a few years, there was disillusionment as no visual benefit was noted compared to conventional cataract surgery. Cataract surgery is already very safe and it's hard to prove a benefit. And final vision outcomes depends on many factors such as refraction, the formula used, the type of lens, and the patient's astigmatism. It has taken 10 years to get level one evidence, and we wanted to answer the questions, does flax improve vision? Does flax use less energy in the eye? Does the cornea heal quicker? And is it safer? We used level one evidence from trials reported since 2017. This is because the laser uses software which is constantly upgraded and quoting results from lasers with older software would not be relevant to post 2020. We looked at two current randomized controlled trials performed in the UK where current software was used, as well as the ability in one of the trials to use a toric lens. For historical sake, we looked at the FemCAT study, although no toric lenses were used, and each center could choose their own brand of lens. The rate of conversion from conventional to flax was very high in the FEMCAT study. And this high rate has not been reflected in any recent study using current software. We looked at the latest meta-analysis of flax and conventional cataract surgery to come out of Germany. What we discovered was that there was no consistent difference in the energy required to remove the cataract, there was no difference in the corneal clarity at three months or in the rate of cystoid macular edema. There was also no difference in the vision recorded between the two groups. What we did note and what was of interest was that the rate of posterior capsule rupture was noted to be statistically reduced in the Roberts trial from the UK. The rate of posterior capsular rupture in all the trials comparing flax to conventional cataract surgery showed less complications in the flax group. This was not unexpected as previous trials using flax has shown a decrease in posterior capsular rupture and therefore less chance of developing a serious consequence of the surgery for senior surgeons, junior surgeons and surgeons in training. Our conclusion was that flax does not lead to improved visual outcome. Less energy is also not always used. The corneal clarity is not affected long-term and there is no difference in cystoid macular edema. There is, however, benefit in terms of complications with regards to posterior capsule rupture because the rate is less than 0.6% in every large study performed of flax. There's also emerging evidence that flax may be of benefit when using multifocal or toric lenses, where lens tilt and decentration become more important for long-term visual stability. <laughs>